वेदवीर जी क्योंकि आपने तो बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज दिया हुआ है कि जो आप इस न्यू ईयर की मिथ के बारे में फैक्ट और फिक्शन आप बोलते हैं फैक्ट और फिक्शन के बारे में कि कोई आपको गलत सिद्ध कर दे तो आपको आप शायद एक करोड़ रुपए का इनाम घोषित किए हैं वेदवीर एम आई राइट हाँ जी जी अभी उसको बढ़ा करके वन मिलियन डॉलर का इट पे भी वाह तो सात आठ करोड़ का है चैलेंज व्यूअर्स कोशिश कीजिए टू मैच इट विद योर स्किल्स इन प्रूविंग दैट ही इज नॉट राइट चलिए वेदवीर जी टेल अस व्हाई यू थिंक इट्स ऑल फिक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस the julian calendar was introduced and uh, how they have been propagated as this is the most scientific calendar and then they have done uh, gregorian reforms the great gregorian reforms by deleting 11 days hmm. i still not able to understand how a uh, civilization especially the roman civilization if they had a, a calendar before the julian calendar that followed the uh, astro- a calendar based on astronomical observation the main problem was with the west that they are not able to to follow the a good intercalation method what happens in a unisolar calendar you need to reconcile with the solar uh, lunar calendar so both have to be reconciled perfectly periodically but that needs a, a scientific uh, understanding of the entire lunar motion and solar motion so just to avoid that they introduced a civil calendar we irrespective of the lunar motion or uh, solar motion let's have a 365.25 days we have to somehow to reconcile so this what happened during the time of julius caesar uh, the traditional the calendar of rome was called as the republican calendar that time mithraism was the religion of the rome christianity uh, was yet to be born during that time so during the time of mithraism they were following the same unisolar calendar but they were not profi- uh, ef- uh, they could not efficiently manage the intercalation system that's why the republican calendar or the mithraist calendar was behind the seasonal calendar almost 90 days so then julius uh, caesar and the uh, other whatever the religious uh, uh, leaders uh, existed those times uh, then they introduced uh, first 67 days they have intercalated in the calendar of the republican means that mithraist calendar then after they reconstructed this julian calendar irrespective of the lunar motion and solar just 365.25 days then they said let us uh, start from the first january but interestingly the first year of the julian calendar had not 365 days actually it has 396 days Yeah. what they did, because they have to reconcile it they have added another intercalar month having 31 days <laughs> so yeah. this actually the julian uh, calendar if uh, somebody says scientifically it actually started first december not on first january because they have added an additional 31 days later they started uh, from the first january even though they have introduced that every four years we will have a one uh, extra day in february they also forgotten for 20 30 years and somehow then they have somehow reconciled and then they started religiously following one day extra in 20 uh, 28 days but still though they have done this very most scientific uh, calendar they have introduced but still they were struggling actually they struggled thou- more than 1500 years for the exact dating of easter every council they used to have because for fixing the date of the easter is very very important for the christians but the date of easter cannot be uh, arrived without referring to the lunisolar calendar because this julian calendar cannot provide any solution to find any exact date of easter this was the real problem then a calendar which struggled so many years but still they could not provide any solution to the dating of easter how can we uh, say that it is the most scientific calendar and first january we have to celebrate as a universal day of mother that is rubbish 
and you have जी not yet found anyone who has dared come and questioned you or tried to prove you wrong. It's impossible to prove you wrong because your facts are so uh, so evident.